What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be talking about Within the Woods. So if people are unfamiliar, Within the Woods is pretty much Camp Blood 3. It's, uh, I mean, it's set at uh, Camp Blood and it has a, a killer clown. It's pretty much Camp Blood 3 but it just it doesn't have Camp Blood 3 anywhere in the title. It's um, written and directed by the same guy who did Camp Blood 1 and 2, uh, Brad Sykes, and this is actually the last movie in the franchise that was uh, written and directed by him. So yeah, this is pretty much Camp Blood 3, but Wikipedia says this is like the un it's like an unofficial sequel, whatever uh, that means. Um, but yeah, for like all intents and purposes, this is the third Camp Blood film, but it's just called Within the Woods. But I don't know, it's this, the, the, the franchise is confusing because I guess there's a movie, like there's a sequel that came after this called, um, I believe it's Camp Blood First Slaughter, Camp Blood First Slaughter. And, you know, that doesn't have Camp Blood 3 in the title, but I think that might be regarded as like the official third film. I don't know. I, I, I'm, I got a pretzel in my head. The more I, I think about it, the, the, the more, I get, the more confused I get. So I don't, whatever, for all intents and purposes, this is, uh, the third Camp Blood movie. So, you know, I just reviewed Camp Blood one and two within the woods. It's the third Camp Blood movie. I'm, I'm trailing off. But anyways, um, my overall opinion of the movie, uh, I I was not a fan of this movie. Okay, so I in in my reviews for the first two, you know, I thought like I, I I've known about these movies uh, from I probably just watching YouTube videos or whatever, and I thought these movies were gonna be way worse than they were, but I actually had a decent time with the first two. Uh, this, this one was just, it was bland, it was boring. Out of the first three films, out of the first ones that were directed uh, and written by Brad Sykes, this one is the weakest one. It was just, it was a bore fest. So, yeah, I was, uh, I was not really into this one. Um, jumping into the plot summary, so this one takes place several years after the events of uh, the second film and uh, the, the main girl from the first two movies, she does not return in this movie. You have um, some contestants, you have five contestants and they are on this reality show. There, there's this reality show, it's like a hidden camera show that's set at the, the campsite uh, Camp Blood, and the whole premise of the show is, you know, it, it, the, the, the people people know the story of the area. The area um, is, you know, it's notorious for being the site of the, the the clown murders, right? So basically, if these five contestants um, can, you know, stay at Camp Blood for 24 hours. The, the remaining contestants who are left after the time runs up, they get to split a million dollars. And, you know, that, that might sound easy, but to, to kind of uh, heighten the stakes and make some, can, uh, some contestants leave, and also to kind of heighten the entertainment value of the show, someone is, this like stuntman is hired to wear a clown mask and scare the contestants. But uh, while they're at Camp Blood, a another person in a clown mask comes through and actually starts killing everyone. So that's the, uh, the basic plot summary. So here's, here's the deal. Um, out of the, out of the first three films, the, the, this is my consensus. Like the first movie, I feel like I cared about the characters 
Um, the second movie, all of the characters were just throwaways. And in this, and but but like the first movie didn't really have the best kills. The kills were okay for what it was, but the the first one didn't have the best kills. But I, I kind of cared about the characters, and I, you know, like the main couple was kind of endearing, and they were kind of like I don't know, like they were seemed like good people. I kind of you know wanted them to survive, and um, their acting wasn't the worst. And I really liked that one guy. I believe his name was Jay. He was kind of like the sleaze bag a hole character in the first movie. He was pretty funny. Um, so yeah, in the first movie, I liked the characters. In the second movie, I liked the kills. So in this movie, in in within the woods, I didn't I didn't care about the characters or the kills. You for I need either or. I need something. So you know that's why I thought I thought um, you know the first couple of movies were decent because you know they they might not have had all the elements of a good movie but there was some elements that I liked this movie really had there were like zero element I can't recall well I mean there's like a couple things that I'm gonna mention later but like overall uh, there wasn't there wasn't that much that I liked all the the characters were disposable throwaways they weren't really like funny or like there wasn't they they weren't memorable like the characters were lame the story, it was kind of similar to the second one. The second one, it was like a movie about the movie. Now it's a reality show about the movie. Like, I mean, I think that's cool. Like, I like other horror movies that kind of have that hidden camera reality show angle. Like, Wrong Turn 2 or, um, what was that one with, uh, oh yeah, Camp Dread. Camp Dread, that one's good too. But, I don't know, this one, the story seemed kind of lame. The characters were lame. And I don't really remember any of the kills in this. They were kind of lame too. The, the second, they weren't as good as the second one. The second one had great kills. So um, yeah, this movie just it I don't know didn't check any of the marks for me. Another another problem that I had with the movie was um, I think the mask for the killer in this looked like so goofy. Um, the, the the mask the clown mask in the first one was kind of goofy but out of out of the three movies like this is the first three movies um this is like the goofiest mask so far I just I don't know it's not scary and I don't know it's just weird looking I, I don't know it, it it something about it bothered me some some about it just doesn't gel with me so I didn't like the mask in this and if if you're if you're doing a slash movie with a mask killer, I feel like the look and the mask is important. So yeah, the the killer's look in this was pretty stupid. But something notable that I want to mention is the 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 guy, the stuntman who was who was playing uh, the fake killer. He had a different clown mask, and some something that was interesting when I was watching this is uh, the clown mask that the stuntman was wearing is actually the clown mask that was worn in the trailer for Camp Blood 2. So, um, the, the trailer for Camp Blood 2 has, like, it has footage from the first Camp Blood movie, and then it has new footage that I don't think is in any Camp Blood movie. And uh, in, the, in the trailer for Camp Blood 2, the killer is wearing the same mask as, as the stuntman in this. But, you know, it's a different mask than the actual mask worn in Camp Blood 2. So um, I thought I thought that was kind of funny that that you know the the mask from the the trailer for Camp Blood 2 pops up in this and um, I I don't know I think I think it's kind of weird but also kind of interesting that the the trailer for Camp Blood 2 doesn't have any footage from Camp Blood 2. Like I I I feel like they did the trailer. Um, but like before they actually did the movie so they kind of pulled an Adam Green before Adam Green could ever pull an Adam Green you know cuz Adam Green the director of Hatchet he uh, he did a, a mock trailer for Hatchet and that's how we got the funding to make the movie 
Uh, so yeah, like I feel like for Camp Blood 2, they put out a trailer and then like to, to build interest, to build hype, and then immediately, uh, immediately like started filming Camp Blood 2. So I thought that was kind of interesting. Um, moving on to another point, the, the creator of the reality show in this movie, he's in this editing room, well not necessarily an editing room, but it's just a room full of monitors to, you know, see all the, the footage taking place, uh, in, in real time, and he's just constantly, um, eating handfuls of jelly beans, and I don't know why, but that kind of reminded me of, uh, the first Ghost Rider movie with Nicolas Cage where he's like a recovering alcoholic and he's just like sipping a glass full of candy. Like I was just thinking, cause, cause this guy's like almost compulsively eating jelly beans. Every time you see him, he's eating a handful of jelly beans. I, I wonder if it's like a, if it's like a oral fixation, like if he is an ex-smoker or if he's an ex-drinker where he he constantly needs like that hand to mouth. He needs to just like throw a couple jelly beans in his mouth because he's used to, you know, puffing on a cig or sipping on a drink. Um, I think I'm overthinking it, but I don't know. I just, I thought of that with this guy constantly eating the jelly beans. I'm like, no one just eats that many jelly beans. Like he must have, he must be um, recovering from some addiction where he, he's using uh, jelly beans to you know, kind of replace the, the hand to mouth. Cause you, you hear about that people who are like quitting smoking or vaping or whatever, they'll like, they'll like, you know, suck on a lollipop or, or they'll, they'll like eat candy or they'll like suck on hard candy. Like people do stuff like that. So that's, you know, maybe the, the show creator, the creator of the reality show in the movie, maybe he was a, uh, recovering, you know, drinker or smoker or something. So, uh, yeah, I don't know. That's I think I'm just overthinking that, but yeah, he's he's eating an, an awful lot of jelly beans, and uh, I don't know. I just when people are just eating that many jelly beans, I just, my mind just starts going in all these crazy directions. So I don't know. Maybe I well, like I said, yeah, I'm definitely overthinking it. So moving on. Um, some th one positive thing about the movie, I really did like the opening the opening was uh once again you have a, a couple in the woods this time uh they're they're having a little they're having a little bonfire a little campfire and they're you know posted up in front of their tent they're they're kissing they're you know trying to trying to get it on and i really liked the opening because uh because it it just it really had that that campsite atmosphere you had the the bonfire you had the tent they're sipping beers um it just i don't know it really felt like a real campsite and and i i like the the opening credits also because the opening credits had the campfire in the background the opening credits were cool the opening scene was cool you had a nice you know kill in the beginning so i did like the opening and I do like how all of these, like the first three Camp Blood movies, all kind of open the same, where you have, um, you have like just some random couple getting killed, and that's kind of like, uh, I don't know, that's like a staple of the franchise, or at least a staple of the first three movies, and I kind of like that, uh, you know, that uh, continuity or connective tissue between movies, so yeah, that was cool, but uh, that was really the, the the main overarching thing that I that I liked in the movie. Other than that, um, I was not a fan of Within the Woods, and I would not recommend it. If if you are curious uh, to check out these movies, in terms of the first three, I would just say you know check out check out the first two. Um, you could really just get away checking out the second one, but. Uh, definitely skip within the woods. It's just it's boring. It's bland, and it it is not uh, worth your time. It's a waste of time. So that has been my recommendation, and that has been my review of with within the woods. Thank you all very much for watching, and peace out.